Hi students, we are talking about performance management in the international context. In the previous topics, we have discussed about the constraints that are on performance management process of an international organization. And uh, in this topic, we are going to uh, start talking about the actual uh, performance management aspect of people that are working in international organizations. Uh, the type of people who are working in international organizations, uh, they are three types of people. Uh, and one are the expatriates, the second one are the non-standard non assignment holders, and the third one, they are the non-expatriates. This is something that we have discussed uh, in detail in previous topics, but just to, rem uh, to remind you, just going through it briefly, a uh, major chunk of uh, uh, assignments which are given to people in the international context are those uh, that are given to the expatriates. Those people are uh, who actually uh, relocate to a foreign location uh, from, a, uh, from, from the home country to a foreign country. And those people, they are called the uh, expatriates. Uh, expatriates are then of three types. One are the parent country nationals, those who move from the parent country of the company to other foreign locations. Then there are third country nationals who move from uh, some other country than the parent country to another foreign country, which is not a country of their own, uh, 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 of their own nationality. And then there are home country nationals uh, which are relocated to the headquarters. Uh, so home country nationals in which the subsidiary is working, uh, people from that country, they are sent from the home country to the parent country uh, for some assignments in the headquarters. So these are the three types of people who are then called expatriates, people who relocate from one location uh, from their home country to a foreign country. <clears throat> these are the ba basic uh, and major chunk of employees uh, uh, for which we will be concerned about uh, talking about whose performance management uh, uh, has to be managed. Uh, but however, there are other uh, types of employees in the international context as well. We discussed about the non-standard assignments in which uh, a person is, um, uh, is an international um, traveler. The person is a commuter who uh, the person could be a virtual assignee. So these are the ones who are, which, which are given these non-standard assignments. And then there are non-expatriates who are working in the international context, but they are not relocating from the, uh, from, uh, the home country to the foreign country. So they are the non-expatriates. However, we will be more concerned about and discussing about the performance management of people who are expatriates because that is a traditional form of international uh, employment and the holds a major chunk of employment in the international arena. Uh, now, um, so coming to discuss the uh, aspect of expatriate performance management, in this topic, we will particularly talk about the various aspects or factors that affect the performance of a person who is an expatriate. Uh, so there are five factors, five important factors which affect the performance of an expatriate working on an international assignment. So kya baate ho sakti hain jo ke kisi, uh, kisi ki performance ko affect karengi? Uh, why would a person be ready to perform? Why a person would be motivated to perform? First thing is the compensation package. So the compensation package we have uh, we have uh, talked in detail about international compensation and what are the various pros and cons of different compensation packages. Uh, so the if the right compensation package is provided to the employee, then it is uh, more possible that the employee is going to perform better. But if the employee thinks that the performance uh, the compensation package is not fair enough, it is not uh, good enough. Uh, then the performance of the employee is going to decline. So this is the first and major aspect which affects performance management of an uh, expatriate. Uh, the second aspect which affects the performance of an expatriate is the task itself. 
because no matter how much you are being paid for it is the job which makes you motivated to work uh, and the job uh, it involves number of aspects the the job involves the tasks which have to be performed the job involves the roles which have to be played the job involves the types of assignments which have to be uh, which have to be conducted uh, so if the uh, tasks the roles and the assignments which are given to the person in that particular job they are not compatible with the knowledge skills and abilities as well as the motivation level of that person then the performance of that person is going to be affected we are going to discuss the task roles and a type of assignments in detail in the coming uh, topics uh, then and another a very important factor which affects your performance is uh, the support that you get from the headquarters and uh, the support from the headquarters starts from pre departure training pre departure negotiations so if the headquarter is involved in the uh, expatriate program in expatriate management if they are concerned about people who are going on international assignments and they start providing them support starting from the uh, from the um, uh, process of uh, relocation starting from the pre departure training and we have discussed in detail that that support has to extend up to the process of relocation uh, when the person is repatriated so it starts from the process of expatriation and it keeps going on until after the uh, process of repatriation and uh, uh, the headquarter has to be involved in keeping the motivation level of the person high it is has to be involved in keeping the person uh, comfortable enough to manage the process of uh, this the transfer the adjustment we have discussed all these things the culture shock and the culture reshock and all these things which affect a person in the entire process so performance is something which is going to be affected uh, at various different stages of this uh, of of this process of expatriation and the headquarter needs to be vigilant and it needs to be involved in order to keep the performance at the satisfactory level uh then another very important aspect which affects performance is the environment in which the person uh in which the performance occurs so no matter how much the compensation is right the task is de is described uh, accurately the headquarter is giving the support but if the environment in which the person is working in the foreign country uh, if that is not supportive if that if that is not congenial if that is uh, diff is very much different in terms of culture in terms of that person's personality uh, then it would be difficult for that person to maintain performance so the environment at the subsidiary or the foreign location that also plays a very important role in uh, determining how well that person will be able to perform so it is the job of the multinational organization to make sure that uh, the right kind of environment is provided uh, for performance in the foreign location uh, that is something which can be uh, which can be uh, taken an example from the colonial rule uh, you would see that in the, in the subcontinent uh people who were sent from uk from uh, the britain to work in the subcontinent with all these uh with, with a very warm weather with all the conditions which were not compatible with people who were living in the britain uh what did the with the, what the british empire did they provided they developed the infrastructure the kind of uh, they developed the architecture they they made uh, uh buildings they made educational institutions they made uh, uh the railway network the uh, irrigation network all these things were done they were not done for the people of the subcontinent they were done for the people who were coming from britain to rule over here in the subcontinent to make the environment 
good enough for those people who were coming to work over here and coming to rule over here to uh, make it congenial enough to make it com comfortable enough for those people so we also uh, the the people who were being ruled they also got the benefit of it and we are still getting the benefit of it but the intention of doing that was to make it a comfortable environment for the british people uh, <clears throat> so uh, uh this is an example of how you make the environment comfortable for people that you are sending to uh, to work in other countries and now multinationals are the new rulers of the world so you need to make your rulers more comfortable that was on the lighter note uh, and finally is the cultural adjustment that is also very important for the employee uh, to be culturally adjusted in the environment uh, so it the cultural ad adjustment is not that of the person only it is that of the individual as well as the family so we have also discussed the aspects of cultural uh, adjustment in quite detail so all those factors which affect cultural adjustment and adjustment of the family spouse and children all those affect the performance of the person agar banda jo hai wo एट पीस नहीं होगा अगर वो अपने बच्चों के बारे में परेशान होगा उसके एजुकेशन उनकी एजुकेशन के बारे में परेशान होगा उनकी सिक्योरिटी के बारे में परेशान होगा तो ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं ये कल्चरल एडजस्टमेंट का हिस्सा हैं और अगर जो मल्टानेशनल है वो कल्चरल एडजस्टमेंट नहीं करवाएगी तो दैट इज़ समथिंग विच इज़ गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द पर्सन हु इज़ टेकिंग ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल असाइनमेंट सो दैट इज़ समथिंग विच नीड्स टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ सो ऑल दीज फाइव फैक्टर्स they have to be aligned they have to be uh, provided for and they have to be kept in mind by the human resource managers who are taking care of these international employees